Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was just, I think it was a difficult shot, you know. It went in, you know, I was like, I could stop for a second. I didn't know it went in. But, you know, I was just trying to get to my spot, uh, that left 45, and I, I got it, you know. That's it. How are you, were you surprised that uh, Marcus Smart intentionally fouled you to reset the shot? Like yeah, that? I was surprised, you know, because uh, if you don't foul, you have the last shot still, you know. It was 10 seconds on a shot clock and right. 16 on the game clock. Mm -hmm. So I was really surprised, yeah. Luca, when you're going through a season where even if you've had a slow start from three, how do you kind of put all of that aside and not think about that and just know that you're, you know, kind of made for that moment and, and have all that confidence to take and make that shot? I mean, I know it's a long season. No, 82 games is a lot. Uh, a lot of games still not going to go as, as I want to. Uh, but, you know, just keep trusting my shot, you know. Um, I think today was way better. Uh, my legs were way better, and I think I just got to continue like that. What? Some, sorry, is there something about playing the Celtics that makes you so uh, ready to hit buzzer beater threes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just, you know, I just try to make it every time. <laughs> what What makes the left side of that court, especially on the step back through your spot, is there an extra level of comfort you have there, or just that is is that where you end up in these situations more often than not? I think it's a good spot for me. You know, uh, I'm going left. But even if they, you know, they, it was a tie game. If they wouldn't, they would close me to my left. I could just go into the right. So I was just checking what they did, you know, and I just went left. Did you always feel more comfortable going going left, even like when you're in your youth career? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you've added the the right step back a little bit more often, but it's still left as well. Yeah, I try, but it's I just <laughs> got to work more on this. <laughs> How was it to have KP back out on the floor? It was good, you know. I think he performed very well today. Uh, you know, it's hard to come back and perform great. He was huge on defense too, and it's great to have him back. We have three on Zoom, and then you will be done, Kevin. Kevin Gray, one hundred five to the fan, Luca. For those who may not understand these kinds of moments, can you take us inside the mind of a player who was in those moments and is thriving the way that you have been able to when it comes to either the Celtics or just in game-winning situations? What is going through your mind when you get in these kinds of situations to try to win a game? I mean, as a player, a uh, basketball player, those are the best moments you can experience in in basketball career, you know. Uh, there are certain games that mean more, but hitting a game winner is just uh, one of the feelings that it's the best in the world. Luke? Yeah, Luca, when, when that ball goes up and it's floating through the air, are you watching with as much anticipation and nerves as we are, or do you know that's going in right away? I don't really know how, what am I doing, you know. Uh, I don't know how I feel when I shoot the ball, you know. I just wanted to go in, but I don't know what I'm thinking about. All right, last one in Espanol, Leonardo. Hola, Luca, te saluda Leonardo Torres de Perú. Felicidades por la victoria. Luca, cuán importantes son estas victorias en close games para desarrollar una química ganadora de equipo? Eh, sí, eh, muy importante. Sobre todo creo que la química de equipo sube eh, de aquí. Eh, creo que podríamos ganar el partido mejor, pero bueno, eh, una victoria es una victoria, así que creo que es muy importante.